Good morning to you. Welcome back to the Morning Minute Meditation here at the Higher Grounds Podcast. I'd like to speak to you just for a moment this morning about the subject of habitual activity. In one of our last videos, we spoke about it briefly. But I'd like to share this with you about the importance of not just spiritual disciplines, but the importance of the church and it being a habitual activity in our life. The writer of Hebrews, whom I believe to be Paul, said in Hebrews 10.25 that we are not to forsake the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but we are to exhort one another and so much the more as we see the day approaching. This very simply speaks um, about the importance of regularly assembling ourselves together with our local house of worship and with the believers that we are membered with in the body of Christ. The Bible said the importance of it is not just so that we can check off our list of going, but that we can specifically exhort one another. In other words, to call one near, um, to beseech or to exhort diligently. By that, it simply means that we are to, uh, to inspire one another while we're there. It's one of the reasons why at the church that I pastor, we have uh, regular testimony services every service uh, whereby our membership can exhort or build in the faith the brothers and sisters in Christ that they are in church attendance with. After World War II, a writer by the name of Philip Hale decided to do a book about um, courage during World War II. One of the aspects of his research had to do with a little village in France called Trocamy, and I'm sure that I'm mispronouncing that. It was in that village where these individuals of the village had uh, done a greater work than any other French village in uh, making sure that the Jewish population was hidden and locked away in a secluded place where the Nazis couldn't find them. He wanted to understand the kind of courage that went into that. And so he began to go into the village and interview the people. And what he found was that the individuals who were in the village were not extraordinary by any stretch of the imagination. They were just normal people. But he said one thing that they had in common, all of them belonged to the same local church. And it was in that same local church where their faithful pastor who had been there for a number of years encouraged them in the scriptures every time that they gathered together to do what was right. And so what they habitually heard service after service is let the word of God guide you and let the word of God direct your path to do what was right, to do what is right, no matter the situation. And they had had such a habit of going service after service and learning at the feet of the pastor, service after service, and learning about the importance of their life being behaved in accordance with the Word of God, that when the opportunity or the event came by which they had to make a choice and do what was right, it was already ingrained in their spirit to do what was right. Why? Because of the habit of being a part of the local church every time the doors are open. Are you a part of the local church every time the doors are open and are you hearing from the word of god consider what i say today my dearly beloved and have yourself a great day